After an astonishing 46-year journey, Voyager 1 has sent an intriguing message from deep space, hinting at an enigmatic discovery. This momentous event has stirred excitement, sparking the possibility of contact with advanced life forms. In this video, we'll delve into what Voyager 1 encountered in the vast depths of space. Voyager 1, part of NASA's Voyager program, embarked on its mission on September 5, 1977, designed to explore the outer solar system and venture into the uncharted territory of interstellar space. Remarkably, it communicates with Earth through NASA's Deep Space Network, providing invaluable data from a staggering distance of 159.32 astronomical units, equivalent to approximately 23,834 billion kilometers away from our home planet, securing its status as the most distant human-made object in space. A true marvel. Voyager 1's primary mission revolves around studying the outer heliosphere of the Sun, contributing vital insights into our solar system's boundaries and regions. It accomplishes this feat at an astonishing speed of 38,000 miles per hour, journeying across immense cosmic distances. Astonishingly, it continues to exceed expectations, still powered and transmitting data daily with its interstellar expedition projected to persist until at least 2025, having covered a staggering 13.8 billion miles from our sun. Equipped with an array of 10 cutting-edge scientific instruments, including cameras, sensors, and detectors, Voyager 1 has persevered through four decades of space exploration, providing invaluable insights into our cosmic neighborhood. Voyager 2, its twin, closely followed suit undertaking a remarkable journey of its own, spanning approximately 26,000 miles through Saturn's enigmatic clouds. Saturn, the second largest planet in our solar system after Jupiter, has some fascinating characteristics. It completes an orbit around the Sun in about 29.5 Earth years and surprisingly rotates on its axis in just 10.7 hours. Recently, NASA engineers encountered an unexpected issue with Voyager 1, as it started sending scrambled data instead of the usual telemetry facts. While this setback has raised concerns, they remain determined not to give up on this iconic mission. Voyager 1 has achieved remarkable milestones, including picking up sounds of plasma waves in outer space. Even though both Voyager spacecraft face challenges they play a vital role in gathering valuable data about the mysteries of the cosmos. Incredible journey of the jaw-dropping discoveries. Before we dive into the intriguing messages from Voyager 1, let's take a moment to marvel at its incredible journey and some of the jaw-dropping discoveries it made. Alongside its counterpart, Voyager 2, it embarked on an epic interstellar adventure, giving us an up-close look at the majestic giants of our solar system. Jupiter and Saturn. These spacecraft performed phenomenally, capturing never-before-seen images and collecting a treasure trove of data that completely transformed our understanding of these colossal planets. After completing its mission with Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 1 bid farewell to its twin and ventured into the vast expanse of interstellar space. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 had its own remarkable journey. It didn't stop at just two planets, in 1981, NASA guided it toward Uranus, reaching this distant world in 1986, exceeding its expected lifespan. Along the way, it unveiled approximately 10 previously unknown moons, expanding our solar system's celestial family. Scientists then directed Voyager 2 toward Neptune, one of the farthest planets at the time, capturing over 9,000 images and revealing not only Neptune's nine moons, but also some astonishing surprises on its largest moon, Triton. It turns out Triton's surface featured geysers and volcanic formations spewing liquid nitrogen, which turned into white nitrogen snow upon landing. A true cosmic spectacle. Thanks to Voyager 2, we unraveled the mystery behind Triton's brownish-white appearance. These groundbreaking discoveries significantly enriched our understanding of our solar system, and the mysteries lurking in our cosmic neighborhood. Although no other spacecraft has ventured as close to Uranus and Neptune since Voyager 2's visit, 
researchers continue to study these captivating planets from afar. Now let's unveil some of the enigmatic wonders these distant planets have to offer. While we refer to Uranus and Neptune as ice giants, they are far from being mere frozen orbs. These giants are actually comprised of scorching supercritical liquids containing volatile compounds like water, ammonia, and methane. Uranus, the second outermost planet, boasts a size roughly four times that of Earth and a hopping 84 Earth year orbit around the Sun. What makes Uranus truly unique is its peculiar sideways tilt, believed to be the result of a past collision with a massive protoplanet. This collision may have also given rise to Uranus's impressive family of 27 moons. In a remarkable discovery, a massive white storm, larger than the United States, was spotted in Uranus's atmosphere. Winds within this tempest raced at astonishing speeds of up to 89 miles per hour. Uranus's ammonia clouds plummet to freezing temperatures as low as minus 323 degrees Fahrenheit making it a celestial wonder akin to Saturn with its own set of rings, albeit not as grand. On the other hand, Neptune, our solar system's outermost planet, formerly the second outermost before Pluto's reclassification, resides a staggering 3 billion miles from the Sun. It's similar in size to Uranus and takes about 165 Earth years to complete a single orbit. To put this in perspective, if Neptune had inhabitants celebrating a new year, an entire human generation on Earth would have come and gone. Despite its languid orbit, Neptune spins rapidly, completing one rotation on its axis in a mere 16 hours. During Voyager 2's visit in 1989, it unveiled Neptune's astonishing weather phenomena, bright bands of clouds and storms racing at mind-boggling speeds of around 1,000, 305 miles per hour. These phenomenal stores are believed to be a result of Neptune's energy deficiency due to its vast distance from the sun, and scientists speculate that these storm clouds may eventually dissipate. The Great Dark Spot on Neptune During the Voyager 2 mission, scientists stumbled upon the Great Dark Spot on Neptune, an enigmatic region roughly the size of Eurasia. Astonishingly, this colossal spot vanished only a few years later, leaving experts baffled. Some speculate that Neptune's internal heat disrupted the spot's structure, but the mystery remains unsolved. Neptune's massive size hints at an equally substantial core, estimated to be one to one and a half times the mass of Earth, with mind-boggling temperatures and pressures. Even more intriguing, Neptune and Uranus exhibit peculiar gravitational characteristics, deviating from the norm, leaving scientists scratching their heads. One captivating theory suggests that diamonds could be raining down on these distant giants. Researchers simulated extreme pressure conditions, yielding a shower of tiny, glittering diamonds, possibly mirroring what happens in their atmospheres, where larger diamonds form and eventually sink to their cores over millennia. The notion of diamonds raining from the heavens is mind-blowing, sparking fascination throughout history. These gemstones, once seen as phenomena, continue to add to the allure of Uranus and Neptune's mysteries. The Mysterious Interstellar Medium Voyager 1 and 2 have embarked on an incredible journey through the mysterious interstellar medium, the space between stars. Despite its sparse population, remarkable discoveries keep unfolding. One such revelation involves the strength and orientation of the interstellar magnetic field, sparking lively debates among scientists about the Sun's magnetic domain, the heliosphere. Initially, the heliosphere was likened to a comet, but recent findings suggest it's more spherical. When sunspots come and go, it triggers changes in the heliosphere. Think of it as a rock in a river, shaping the ionized gas or plasma and the interstellar medium around it. As these spacecraft ventured farther, they discovered the heliosphere extending beyond expectations, even beyond Neptune. It was a thrilling surprise, and the exact entry point into interstellar space remained uncertain. Notably, Voyager 2 detected the heliopause, where the heliosphere takes a pause, shortly after passing Neptune in 1992. 
Strong radio waves emanated from significant solar flares that had occurred a year earlier, revealing insights into the density of the local interstellar medium. This region may seem like a vacuum, but it's surprisingly thin. To pinpoint the heliopause's distance from the sun, scientists calculated the speed of outbound solar material and the time it takes to reach this boundary, placing it about 177 astronomical units away. These findings illuminate the outer limits of our solar system. Voyager 1 also hinted at leaving the heliosphere with signs like decreased solar particles and increased cosmic rays from beyond the solar system. However, some researchers remain uncertain due to Voyager 1's malfunctioning plasma instrument. In November 2018, Voyager 2 achieved a significant milestone by crossing the heliopause, marking its continued success in space exploration. Voyager 1, while still in good shape, faced potential transmission challenges due to electronic aphasia. But don't worry, scientists are working on a solution. These spacecraft, true pioneers, push beyond the sun's magnetic field to expand our knowledge of interstellar space, enduring tough conditions to bring us valuable insights. Hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and join us on this epic interstellar adventure. Who knows what Voyager 1 will reveal next?